Um, but for me, it'll be more about the teaching to the next generation. Last year was not a fantastic year for Hassan Whiteside. Mm -hmm. More conversation about his own conversations than his play on the court. Forget the contract for a second because it's hard not to talk about it. The potential and the talent are both there. Can we see that come back on the floor? Can that story be retold this season with him? You know what, to me, Booz and Casey, is mental for me because when we got a chance to fall in love with Whiteside, he was playing hard, blocking shots, rebounding, running the court, doing the dirty work. Like Booz said, in the younger generation, he got that bag. And then now he's all we hear is, I'm not getting enough touches. It's about offense. Right. I, I think for him, is it has to get back to what got you that bag was rebounding, that guy in the middle, playing hard, playing dirty. I think he got a little bit when you just want to say, I want to be all-star-ish. You right. can be an all-star doing the dirty work, and then obviously your offense will come. I think he started to look so much booze where I'm not getting enough touches to go along with his contract. It wasn't about him scoring. He will score, and he has to rebound and block shot and dominate that way first. What do you right. do as a veteran? Because you know you got guys like Dwayne Wade there. But if you're sitting in their spot and you're D Wade or one of the vets on this team, you know it's there. How do you get him in the right state of mind or the white side of the ledger, right. if you will, going into this season? Yeah, well, he might have. You know, I've seen some clip of him and D Wade working out on the beach mm -hmm. this summer and the gym working out as well. Maybe D Wade was able to put a bug in his ear to get him back on that that hungry hustle yeah. on the white side that we were used to before he got that bag. Um, that's that's what they're going to need to get back to the playoffs, to get back to a dominant team in the Eastern Conference. Where they're they're a tough out. They're a tough. You can't just come into Miami and steal a win here. You got to come go through us. And, and to Smitty's point, he got to be that defensive anchor. I remember a couple years ago he had a triple double, and it was ten blocks. How many times have we seen ten blocks in, in in the NBA in the last couple of years? So for me, if Hassan can get back to that hungry Hassan where he's dominating the paint, and I mean rebounding, blocking shots, owning the paint, where guys are scared to drive in there and throw up a shot then his offense will be the D-Wade is one of the best live passers, one of, one of the best two-guard passes we've had in the game. He'll get, he'll get him the ball in a place where he can be successful and be efficient. But if he can block shots and rebound and be hungry, he looks like he's in great shape. Mm -hmm. He can help that team a lot. Yeah, better with him than without him, which yeah, is something sure. we should yes. remember. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And I think everybody gets so caught up on They can't play wide side because it's small ball. No, you still can. If he's dominating defensively and rebounding, they can. Boo say the best. He looks like he's in much better shape this year than last. I think he's going to have a good year. All right, let's talk about the direct of the team because we know every year grit and grind used to be in Memphis but it's kind of been this roster right I mean Spo has always had this group Smitty seemingly overachieving they're always in playoff contention or in the playoffs what do you see from where are we right now with Miami I mean, I'm looking at it. I mean, we're looking at just the stats. I mean, he's 41 plus wins in nine of the ten seasons he's coached and eight times they've been in the playoffs well, they've missed D Wade a couple of years. LeBron's been gone, and Bosch. This is what I love about Spoil and his organization. Yeah, everybody talks about their cap space. They don't have room to acquire Max Guy. They can move some guys around, but I love what the organization and Pat Riley did. We're still going to be relevant. Yes, we don't win a championship. We might not get to the Eastern Conference, but if I live in Miami, this team is still making playoffs. Still gives you a chance and hope. I think this chance, what they've done, is because of Spo the way he's been coaching, I think he's been very underrated. Miami gets driven all the time, booze as a sports center, if you will, by star quality. Yes. It's always been that kind of a place. Right. You know, who, who are you going to see at prime 112 kind of an era? Right. We know that, right? You know you're going to see all three of us because we're, <laughs> right. we're hungry. Right. Can, can they win this way, or do you think they need to, as Smitty kind of alluded to, at some point find the stars that want to go there and then alleviate some of this money to create that space for them? Yeah, well, for this season, they had, you know, D-Wade's farewell tour. So they're, they're going to sell out every game. People are going to come see D-Wade play. But moving in the future, there may be a star away, maybe two stars away from being really good and being a contender to co compete with Boston and Toronto and, and, and uh, those teams up there. But at the end of the day, right now, they're, they're mediocre. They're, they're a middle-of-the-pack playoff team. I'd mm -hmm. say they're a playoff team. I think they make the playoffs again this year. Um, but they're not going to knock down Philadelphia's door this year. They're not going to knock down Boston's door. They're not going to knock down Toronto and get to the, 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 the finals. But they are going to be in the hunt. If they make a trade, you know, there, there's rumors about that Jimmy mm -hmm. Butler trade. Maybe that improves them a little bit. Maybe they make a deal for somebody else. But if they make a, make a move, they're about a player or two away from being really good. Yeah, that's, that's the question is as the year goes on, do you try and get a little greedy when you get towards trade deadline, find a way to be creative, 
to give Dwayne Wade a chance at a run, a chance to surprise, because they're going to probably be a playoff team if they're healthy enough. Mm. But you wonder if D Wade is healthy if they don't get a little bit greedy come deadline time, try and push him. Yeah, away. I think um, you got to be calculated. You don't want to look at it and mortgage your future for somebody to just to try to win today. When you're knowing, I, I would say if you're a Miami fan, you're knowing you're not winning a championship, you're probably not getting to the Eastern Conference Finals. But like, if you do have that opening, if you can say, "Ed, we're not saying it's going there." Jimmy Butler, and then they, we always know there's a disgruntled veteran that can really play around all-star trade right. time. You add another guy, and you look at the Eastern Conference, we know the Boston, Toronto, and Phillies are the elite, but after that, the Miami Heat with a couple players could move up into home court in the playoffs. We are looking forward for most of this show. When we come back, we'll look back. Wade County, how it came to be, and where it is now. More of your team preview for the Miami Heat coming. to the NBA and, um, you know, see what the future holds for Dwayne Wade. With the fifth pick, the Miami Heat select Dwayne Wade from Marquette University. I was happy that I was going to Miami. It's a place where I feel I belong. You know, I'm just so happy to be here. I'm going to just try to bring everything that I brought, you know, in college. Just playing as hard as I can. It was a dream come true. I'm like, I'm starting as a rookie in the NBA. It was exciting, and I had a great group of guys along with me. Turn inside the way down the middle. Hey, hey, oh, he's hit on top of it. Foul ball. Wade with a steal with two. Wade puts it up for the win. Yeah, oh, baby. Dwayne Wade with the game winner. Dwayne Wade, you are a giant. It's a dream come true for Heat fans. Blocked by Wade. And Wade at the buzzer. Got it. That would make me look more like a hero. Do what you do. Don't go. Yeah. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah. It's over, and Miami wins the NBA title. Thank you so much. You're my hero, Wade. We hereby proclaim today as Dwayne Wade Day. We want to thank you once again by giving you the key of this county. <laughs> oh, Dwayne Wade! What's up, mama? Dwayne Wade. We was kids once when we was growing up that we didn't have everything we wanted for Christmas or the holidays. But one thing we did have is we had family, we had each other, and we just remember the times that we enjoyed ourselves. You got to smile real big. Believe in yourself. Believe that you can overcome anything and do anything. The way Wade is back. Accomplishments will be remembered in this house and in our hearts forever. In 2003, I could see the future of the Miami Heat and drafting Dwayne. It's the best thing this franchise has ever done. Number three, Dwayne. Fantastic piece on D Wade right there. We look at the group that he has with him. Smitty, what stands out to you when you look at the depth chart here? You know, I think versatility. You can have a lot of these guys, uh, probably six or seven guys, can play two or three positions. Also, 90% of these guys, other than some of the guys I don't know, they are going to play hard. And that's the one thing you know that looking at that roster, they're going to compete. They're going to come out and play extremely hard. They're going to give themselves a chance night in and night out. Lewis? Same thing. They got a roster full of guys that are going to play hard. You can switch defensively. They can do a good job offensively sharing the ball. I like the kid out of Bayou back in the white side. He plays with pure energy. 
a good group of guys. Yeah, Haslam back again, which let's not forget, even though. Hey, that's, that's for UD. organization to keep UD around. He's still in great shape, but yeah. that Boo said it best. That's another guy that's basically teaching yeah. for the, on and off the court for the organization. Last year for Wade County, hopefully going to be a good one in Miami. Always good to hear from him. He sits down with our own Real Parish. He's a champion. He's an MVP. He's a future Hall of Famer, the man that needs no introduction to Wade. Wade joins us. So you basically lead the Heat in every statistical category. What made you <laughs> want to come back for one more season? Uh, well, I mean, I think for me, um, just listening to a lot of my fans, my family, my friends, and I think everybody, you know, wanted this to say goodbye. You know, and a piece of me wanted to say goodbye to, you know, you, if you have the opportunity to to go through your last year, you know, kind of, you know, and play on your own terms. And, and for me to be back in Miami at the same time doing that, I wanted to get the opportunity to just go through this year and just give a chance to, to salute, you know, say my thank yous and say goodbye to all the people who have supported me through these 16 years. So like you said, 16 years, your, your resume speaks for itself. What is left for you to accomplish personally and for the team? Well, for the team, um, you know, to continue to take steps every year, you know, and, and as you, when you're in this position where you've been from, where you've went from a championship organization into a rebuild situation, um, and you have a lot of young guys that you depend on, you just want to see them get better every year individually and, you know, as an organization. So last year we, you know, got a chance to go, the year before they missed the playoffs, last year we went to the first round, lost in five. This year you want to do better. Conference still, you know, when you look at Boston, you look at Toronto, when you look at Philly and so forth and so on, those are the top three. I uh, hope I ain't missing nobody. Uh, that that from last season that you know has shown that they have the talent they have the ability in another year together they're going to be tough uh with some other teams so um you know we health is important to that you know the team that's that's is healthy is, is better than a team that's more talented and better uh so we definitely got to be healthy and we got to you know we got to once we start tomorrow we got to get right on top of what we need to do, how we need to do it, and play our game the way that we can and what's on our roster and uh, and, and not focus on what anyone else is doing right now. When you take a moment to reflect on everything that you've done in your career, is there a particular moment that stands out that you always go back to that you love the most? I think what I, what I love most about my career is I've been able to play and be whatever it, I've needed to be. I've been able to play any role that's been asked of me. When I came into the NBA, they asked me to play starting point guard. I never started a point guard before. Um, before that, you know, not especially since I've been older, I did that. And then they asked me to, um, in the playoffs that year, to take the league a little bit and, and start becoming the, the alpha. And then they asked me to take a step back when Shaq came. You know, I've been able to. You know, what I play with great players or what I play with players that hasn't been of that caliber, I've been able to be everything that the organization and my teams needed me to be. Um, and it's no different now. You know, as I'm at the end of my career last year, you know, I came off the bench. And when I came back to Miami, I was asked to come off the bench and trying to play the best my role in that as well an Olympic team came off the bench try to do my best in that so that's what I'm most proud of is that I didn't go through this and only was able to do it one way I was able to go through this NBA career and I was able to play a, you know a great in whatever role that I that I was able to start in Great stuff there with D Wade, who has not forgotten family and passing that torch as well to his son. We'll look at some social moments and let the starters weigh in on your heat when we come back.